Hey friends, Diana here. Yes, I'm trying something new out. You'll see a virtual background here. Uh, I'm trying something new out. It's all about the changes that are happening to my podcast and uh, trying to be brand consistent. But here's the question for the day, right? You know, all entrepreneurs that I know of are want to scale and grow their business. And, you know, that road is just not an easy road. So if you're anything like the lawyers or the accountants, financial advisors or other experts that I continue to work with, I'm sure you want to do everything possible so that you can attract the right kinds of clients. And, you know, today I was talking to one of my clients and he found himself doing the proverbial hustle. That's right. Doing all the things and still not getting the clients that he wanted. And I went, OK, what is it that he's doing? And so we talked about, you know, there's lots of things that you can do to attract clients, attract the right kinds of clients. You can differentiate yourself out in the marketplace. You can tweak your marketing message. Uh, you can niche down. You can do all those types of things. But really, the one thing you want to keep in mind this principle, you want to do less better. That's it. You want to do less better. And so we were talking about what he could do less better. And uh, it really tied into this week's podcast episode, which is about the words that you could be using that could actually be hurting your business growth. And so if you are writing a lot of content or could even be sales pages, if you are, you know, talking about your programs and your products and you're still not getting people to buy into them or you're getting the wrong people, here's a couple of hints. I'm going to ask you three questions, three yes or no questions. And the first question is, do you listen to each and every word? that you say when someone asks you, so what do you do? Yes or no? All right, here's the second question. When you're writing your marketing content, and it could be a sales page, it could be anything, but are you clearly articulating, are you clearly linking the benefits and the features of that program or product or service to the real world things that your prospect actually wants and desires? Yes or no? And the last question I'm going to ask you today is, do you know the most important word in marketing? Three letters, actually. So yes or no. So if you have answered no to any one of these questions, then I'm guessing you would love this week's podcast episode where I talk about the six itty bitty words that can help your business grow. Instead of detracting from your business, these will actually help you grow your business. And these are really small little words. The largest word is four. That's right, four letters. And so it's worth your while. Go and listen to this podcast episode and see how you could be doing something less but a little better to help you grow and scale your business so that you can just work less and profit more. Because if I'm any guess of entrepreneurs, we don't want to be out there hustling. We don't want to be out there chasing clients. We want to make the profit in our businesses, but also have the time to spend it. Anyway, I hope this little tip about using these six words has been helpful for you. And I would be thrilled if you would go and listen to podcast episode 68. The podcast is called the Grow Equation Business Podcast. And it is going to be rebranded to the Work Less, Profit More podcast for lawyers, financial advisors, and accountants, and other really smart experts. Take care. Till next Tuesday. Bye for now.